I mean, this is just good. Good focus, Alfie. Great one. Oh, I've blimmin' lost the ball, haven't I now? There we go. Got a nice little candle lit for this video. Put it down there. Set the scene a bit. Oh, you can't even see it. I don't know what scene we're setting. Hello, everybody. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Today, I am filming. I don't know why I say I'm filming a new video. It's very clear that I'm filming a new video because you're watching it right now. Anyways, today, as I like to do every couple of months, I thought I would shoot a little video where you give me some cues and I A them. Basically, I answer your questions. Shall we, shall we, shall we, shall we just start? <laughs> Leah said, what is your favorite picture of your new calendar? So, if you didn't know, I've just, wait, I've got one. I've got one down here. Le I've got a, got a copy of my new calendar. I've just released right now today, as you're watching this, a brand new 2016 calendar. I've never ever done anything like this before, but I've done like beanies and posters and stuff, but I've never done a calendar. And I've got, this is like, that's one of the pages of the calendar. That is June. What else can I show you? I don't want to give away too much of it because I want it to be exciting for if you purchase it. We got January, big old picture of me posing. We got February, another big old picture. I promise you they're not all this posy. They're not all like this. That is the calendar. If you want, I, I didn't say my favorite one. I would say June is one of my favorite ones. It's cool, you know, I'm sitting on a, sitting on a train track. It's definitely not cool. I could have got hit by a train. What's your best memory? Blooming egg. I'm 22 years old. My best. Also, if you're wondering what is all this like black stuff all on my arm here, in my daily vlogs the other day, I put on like some fake tattoos. Yeah, definitely won't come off, will they? And I've got to go to the gym tomorrow with all of this on my arm. My favourite memory. This is a blooming hard question. I would definitely say that one of my favourite memories, for sure was my first ever book signing in London. It was insane. Like, let's just put it this way. Eight and a half thousand of you guys turned up to my book signing. There was like two police helicopters, 15 police on a horse. It was absolutely mental and I just loved it. It, it just showed me how much power we have, like you and me watching this, there is such an amazing community. Not meaning to turn this question all like cringy and deep, but that was definitely one of the best moments of my life. I will never ever forget that. When are you getting another pug? Now, sadly, this one I don't think is just up to me. This is up to Zoe as well, of course, because Zoe and I both look after Nala equally. Maybe Zoe a little bit more, just because I work away from home more than she does. I want another pug already. I really, really want a fawn pug or I would love a husky, but they take like six hours walking a day. So that's probably not realistic. But I do definitely want to get another pug. If you guys can help me persuade Zoe, that would be much appreciated. I just, I think Nala needs a little sister. I think she needs a younger little sister and they can both like play hide and, cause, oh my gosh, when we play hide and seek with Nala, she loves it so much. Now imagine just her and a little sister like running around playing hide and seek to, it would be so cute. I want another pug right now. You have made me want another pug. I might have to ring Zoe and see if I can get, no, I shouldn't. I'm getting carried away. I want another pug. Where would you like to travel to next? Before Christmas, I am going to Singapore with Marcus. Marcus and I are going to Singapore to meet a ton of you guys. We're gonna have a meet up. The details haven't been announced yet. I will let you know in my daily vlogs as soon as I can. If you're from Singapore or nearby, Come and say hello, we want to meet you. It's going to be cool. However, next year, I do want to travel a lot more. I was literally texting Naomi yesterday about this, saying next year I really, really want to go to like Bali, New Zealand, Australia, and more around Europe, Japan. I want to go to, they're everywhere. I want to go a lot more traveling next year. And I think once Nala is a lot more calm and she's not still so like, puppy. Actually, that's a bit contradictive. I just said I want to get another puppy. How much have I read of Girl Online on tour? So, if you don't know, Zoe, my girlfriend, has just released her second book. She worked so incredibly hard on it. And every single time she finished writing another chapter, she was always like, Alfie, can I read you this chapter that I just finished writing? And I was like, no, don't, because it's gonna ruin the book. And then she'd be like, she'd finish writing the last page, and she'd be like, Alfie, can I read you just the last page? And I'm like, no, don't, because I haven't read all of the book yet. Anyways, the book is now out. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's called Girl Online on Tour. And I haven't even read one page of it. <laughs> I'm the worst boyfriend ever. I need to read it, I know. You guys have probably all read it. 
I haven't even read a page. Do you sleep with your closet door open or closed? I don't know anybody that, like, no matter what age they are, I don't know anyone that is brave enough to sleep with their closet door open. I definitely am not that person. I close every single door in my bedroom, every single cupboard, everything. Because I don't believe in ghosts, I don't believe in, like, paranormal activity stuff. But just in case there was the slight chance that it is real, that is not for me. I'm locking that crap out there. You ain't coming in my bedroom. Do you, right. I don't know what to say. I don't know whether to answer this one or not. Do you pee in the shower? Now this is something that we've all got to be honest with ourselves about. Not even with ourselves, with each other. I just want you to comment down below a simple yes or no, that is it. Don't say anything, don't say I do pee in the shower, I don't pee in the shower. Literally comment down the word Y-E-S or the word N-O, that is it, if you pee in the shower. Be honest, don't be lying either. I'm blooming watching you. I will, <laughs> I will leave a comment myself on this video saying yes or no, therefore I don't need to answer it in the video. Uh, actually, why am I not even answering that? I think it's good. I think it's good to. Yeah, I pee. <laughs> I pee in the shower and I think it's fine. Do you know why? Because it saves time. If I need the toilet and I'm having a shower, I could just hold it and then go to the toilet afterwards. Or I could just save time, double up and pee in the shower. I don't think that's gross. I'm probably going to be told that it is gross by everyone that's watching this video. But hopefully at least a couple of you are with me on this. Can you lick your nose with your tongue? I haven't tried this since I was like way younger. Am I allowed to push it down? No, it's just not long enough. <laughs> the next question is brilliant. Right, this is going to be the last question. Have you ever farted in public? I don't even know if I should tell this story. Have I ever farted in public? Everybody has farted in public. Let's not lie. We're not. We're just going to throw it out there. Everybody watching this video has farted in public. Except for my grandma, who says she has never ever farted in her life. I don't understand it. How can somebody say they have not fought? Anyway, that's another story. That is a whole other story. So, <laughs> so I was, I was probably about, I don't even know how old I was. Maybe like eight years old? Probably like eight years old. And me, my mum, my dad and my sister all went to a, uh, like a musical, like a show in London. And it was to go and see the BFG, the Big Friendly Giant. If you haven't seen it, you need to check that out. That's just one of the sickest films out there. It's so cool. Anyways, we were watching the BFG, which has amazing like visual effects. Like the BFG is so cool and everything, and the, the stage show is just amazing. Little Alfie may have needed to fart. As you do, I just felt like I needed to fart. I thought, you know what, I'm in a theater, a show is on, nobody's gonna hear it because there's loud performers. Did a little fart. Nobody heard it at all. Absolutely fine. <laughs> like two minutes later, literally two minutes later, the people next to me and the people behind me, wait, were they next to me or behind me? I think they were behind me. The people behind me, you can hear them saying, oh, oh my gosh, this is just amazing. I can even, I can even smell the BFG. <laughs> I can even smell the BFG. These effects are crazy. And this, this was like some like 50 year old people behind me. Me and my mum are literally like wetting ourselves laughing. They, they thought that the smell of my... <laughs> they thought that the smell of my fart was like from the theatre to me. <laughs> was the smell of the show like that they I don't know you guys get what I mean I think I think that is just enough for one video that is definitely enough for one video I've got so many sick videos planned with other youtubers coming up in the next couple of weeks so keep your eyes peeled for them if you want to watch them go down below and subscribe to my youtube channel I think we're quite close to 5 million that's unbelievable we're nearly at 5 million subscribers so if you're not subscribed Go down below and subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Give the video a thumbs up if you think I should get another pug. That's what you need to be doing. Persuade Zoe. Go check out my new calendars if you want. There is a link down below for them as well. Everything is just linked down below. Everything at all. Everything you could ever imagine. <laughs> I'll catch you next week with another new video. Good. Bye.